Uh, too close. No. Okay. 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 Good. So welcome back to another video. Today we're doing another one of those like update, up, up, update. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Update, update type deals. But it's a little different. So, so we got a list here, and basically I want to get everybody on the same page as to the builds and the motors and all the videos that are going to be coming out here lately. I know I've been over it a couple times in other videos, but I want to just reiterate it in one big video. So, here I have the Big Block F100 build. This is everything we have to do. Okay, that's everything we have to do. Um, I've broken down into sections, so we have engine, transmission, suspension and brakes, and there's fuel and body. So so some of it we've already done. Like, for example, I wrote on here that we have to tear down the 429. We did that in a couple videos. We also have to rebuild the C6. I've been doing that on my own time at the school up there, and it's done now. So it is ready to go in. We have to still remove the, remove the inline 6 out of the black truck in the woods. We have to rebuild the 429, which I'll be doing on my own time install the 429 then we have to install the distributor set the timing and then get our pulleys worked out power steering I actually did forget about power steering we have to get our power steering worked out our charging system and other good stuff like that so for the transmission we have to remove the three on the tree which is a manual we have to get the pedal assembly fixed because right now it has obviously a clutch pedal so we gotta get that changed out we have to fix the column. The column is actually broken right now because we didn't have a key for it, so we had to break the column to get it to go into gear. So we have to fix the column, and then we have to make it work for an automatic. We have to run the lines and coolers. So what I did today, actually, is I went down to the junkyard and bought some transmission lines, some factory transmission lines, and these are going to work flawlessly. And I will probably... I'm going to go over that real quick, but I'm going to put like a little skip marker in so you can skip past it if you don't care. So today I went to the junkyard and they have a 1989 460 big block motor over there. It's an F250 with a 460 big block in it. Now, today I went over there to look at the transmission. And I got up under it and I kept looking at it thinking, this thing's not an E4OD. And if you're pretty familiar with Ford, um, you know that in the, late in the late 80s and early 90s, they switched over to the E4OD transmission. So I was pretty shocked to see that it was a C6 with a 460 bell housing. But regardless of all that, it was a C6. And it has the linkage and everything that I need, which I'll be going over here in a minute, stuff that I need, which is linkage, stuff like that. It has all that that I need. So I'm going to be going and getting all that. But this thing has an external cooler on it. So I got the cooler and all the lines and everything for it. I just have to get a radiator that'll work and stuff like that. So that is that. But yeah, I have pretty much have a vehicle to go off of, which makes me, it kind of takes a big stress off me, because I was kind of wondering how I'm going to get my kick down lever and my manual linkage to work in that, in that truck in the woods, so I'm glad that I have a late 80s to go off of. Anyway, back to what we were talking about. So, after we get our fuel lines figured out, we did have to do the cross member. So the mount that's on the C6 transmission that I bought is a Lincoln mount. Now the Ford and Lincoln mount are slightly different, but I think we can modify our cross member for the Lincoln mount in order to just fine. After that, we have to do a drive shaft. Now I don't think that's going to be a big problem. We may have to just change the yoke on the end of the drive shaft, and I think that the size is fine. Um, but that'll be pretty much later on down the road, and that'll be something we just play by ear. And then I've thought about this. I'm not too sure if I'm going to do it yet. I kind of want opinions. Um, a skid plate. I thought about putting a skid plate underneath the transmission pan so that we don't dent it up. Um, let me have your opinion on that and see what you think about it. After that, uh, we have to get our kick down lever and our shift linkage, which is kind of complicated to figure out, but also kind of simple. 
Um, there's one vacuum line that runs to it, and that's for the governor, but I got that today with the uh, cooler lines. So, after that, we're on the suspension and brakes. Now, I went over this in my last video, but we have to do, we have to put in our new coal springs. We have to get shocks, brake pads and rotors, obviously, brake lines. We've already done a master cylinder, and then we have to do e-brake. So, all that we got to get figured out, which is not that much. Now, fuel is pretty simple. We just got to get our old gas tank out, replace it with a new one, because I'm sure it's rusted through. That's what everything in there is. It's pretty much just rusted all the way out. Uh, we have to do our lines, make sure our lines are good. We're probably going to replace those because they're fuel lines. Carburetor, we got to get the carburetor done. That'll probably be like a Holley 500 carburetor or something like that, four barrel. Body, we got to take the body off of the frame. Now, Whenever we now none of that other stuff I'm talking about with the motor and stuff like that, none of that's really gonna happen until we get the body off the frame. So that way we can kind of deal easier. Because since I gotta take the body off the frame anyway because it's all rusted out. I'm just we're just gonna wait on that. Um we gotta fix the body and then do new body mounts and stuff like that. So pretty much our hardest part I figure is gonna be our transmission because it's an automatic a manual swap would have been a lot easier. But I'm not the kind of guy to do things the easy way. So, automatic it is. Um, I'm actually kind of happy that I'm doing an automatic. A lot of people asked me, they were like, why didn't you do a manual? Well, first of all, I can't drive stick. But second of all, everybody does a manual swap these days. And everybody goes from an automatic to a manual. I thought that it would be kind of cool to show going from a manual to an automatic. And I just think it's kind of a cool process in general it's genuinely harder um but I, I it's fun i think i'm gonna enjoy the heck out of it so that's that said and done so guys pretty much right now at the current stage we're at we just pretty much need to start getting stuff disassembled and getting it ready for all new but yeah that's it man i just wanted to go over in this video everything that's happening with the big block f100 build it's Probably the craziest build I've ever tried to do, but I'm already having a ton of fun. I mean, every day I wake up thinking about what I have to do next, and that's a feeling that you don't get from a whole lot of other things. So, like I said, guys, I'm super excited. I can't wait to share the entire process with you guys, but until the next video, I will see you next time. The only reason we didn't really get a real video this week is because I, I was feeling kind of sick the last couple days, so I didn't really feel like doing anything. But next week we should have an F1 we should have a big block video coming out. So yeah guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.